Welcome back to Palmister Channel. In this video, we will walk you through how to set up a typical off-grid solar power system using a solar charge controller and a Pusine Way off-grid inverter. For this demonstration, we will be using Pal M60 Ultra Solar Charge Controller and the Pal LV 3.5K 12 volt inverter. You can choose other models depending on your specific needs. Start by mounting both the controller and inverter on the wall, then install circuit breakers based on the maximum current rating of each light. In this setup, we are using two 63 ampere DC air circuit breakers, one for the PV input of the controller and one for the controller's charging light to the battery. A 250 ampere molded case DC breaker is used for the battery to inverter discharge line. Next, connect the controller's PV port to the PV breaker and the battery port to the battery side breaker. Here, we initially used the wires that were too thin for the battery connection, so we later replaced them with proper 6 gauge cables. Now connect the inverter's positive and negative terminals to the 250 ampere DC breaker. And then connect the other side of that breaker to the battery terminals. Make sure to always match the polarity, positive to the positive and negative to the negative. After that, connect the controller's battery breaker terminals to the battery as well. Then connect your solar array to the PV breaker. From the inverter's AC output terminal, wire out to the loads you need. Here we are using a light bulb as a simulated load to demonstrate the output. When connecting the AC output, be sure to clearly distinguish between life, neutral, and ground wires. Once all wiring is complete, check every connection to ensure it is secure and that the polarity is correct. Now we are power on the system step by step. First, switch on the battery breaker connected to the controller, followed by the PV breaker, and finally the inverter side breaker. It's important to turn on the controller's battery breaker first. Lastly, Flip the inverter's rocker switch to power it on. Once the inverter starts working, the load connected to its AC output will begin operating normally. And that's how to set up a typical off-grid solar system using a solar charge controller and off-grid inverter. We hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.